Hello and welcome to Sue Finley Designs. So what have I been up to this week? Well I've been frantically making pieces for the up and coming open studios in the Mundaring Hills here in Western Australia. I've been quite lucky to be invited as a guest artist at one of the other artists homes so um, I've been frantically making things for there and I've been trying to come up with some new ideas. Things that people have not really done before. Well, I don't think they have, I just haven't seen them. They, it may well have, uh, they may well have been done before, but like I say, I haven't seen them before. So what have I been making this week? Well, you've probably seen on my um, Facebook page and Instagram, um, me making this free form uh, crescent moon shape, complete with um, base, as you can see. A little bit off there. Um, so the, it's made completely with the acrylic diamonds that I use and resin which has been tinted ever so slightly with India ink and that's it basically there's not much to this. Um, I didn't use any silicone to create the mould shape or anything like that so the video is going to show you how si quick and simple it is to make something like this. Now I do need to tell you, I did actually do a bit of a, a blunder. Um, I actually balanced this along with another piece that I was working um, at the same time on some stools that have got a hole in the middle. So I thought, yes, yeah, so I'll do the, do the outside there and I'll stick that in the stool. It took ages making sure it was sitting square and it you know the it was when it was all finished it was gonna you know stand upright properly and everything like that done the base so I poured the stones with the um, resin on the base and my daughter come in and she said oh what have you been making today so I said come and have a look so I went in and when I was in there I realized that because I'd placed that through the hole, how was I going to get it back out again once it, it cured on the base? So thankfully I'd spotted it before it actually properly cured and I was able to remove the stem from the base and it had been curing long enough that it did actually leave a, a nice hole where that was. So after I let the base cure, I was able to then place this in and then add some more resin to secure it. So that could have been a disaster. I was nearly having to cut up some stools to get it out. So luckily I realised before it was too late. So without further ado, let's get into how I made this freeform crescent moon. So what I did first was I created the shape on my computer and then just printed it out onto an A3 sheet and then I, I done a, a, a line to show where the base was going to go so it was make it a little bit easier for me to position. Now you don't have to actually do this on a computer, you can do free fa freehand and draw it out yourself so what i've done is i've put the a3 sheet inside a cello bag but you can actually just place it under plastic or whatever you've got to hand and then we begin with mixing the acrylic diamonds with some resin which has been tinted with one drop of teal india ink to give it a bit of a bluey color so all you need to do is just add a small amount of resin onto the stones and then just mix them up to make sure that all of the stones are completely coated. You don't want any stones not coated in resin so take your time and make sure that each of these stones are completely coated in the resin because as they um, form a bond it's what gives the piece its strength and stops it from falling apart when you pick it up and, and what have you. So once all your stones, uh, your acrylic diamonds are completely coated, you can then start spooning them onto your design. Now paying particular attention around the stand because we want to make sure that the gems are well and truly adhered to the, the top of the stand because um, you don't want that snapping off and breaking. So I'm going to put a generous amount of stones um, all over this um, piece here. 
Now I'm going to build them up so it's almost like a cur it's curved so it's not completely flat. So we do use quite a lot of these stones um, for this. So you know it's it. People say, "Oh, that's going to be quite expensive in stones," but the price that I'm actually selling this piece for more than covers for the cost of the stones, and obviously the amount of work that goes into putting it together, um, because it's it's done in several layers. Because you've got to wait for this first layer to cure, then lift it up, support the other side, and then do the next layer on the other side, because we don't have just a flat side. It's it's going to be three D on uh, three-dimensional on both sides so we're just keeping um, using the lines as a guide it doesn't have to be perfect um, because you've got the shape of the stones which gives it um, a nice rough edge anyway but it just gives you um, a guide on where you need to place these stones and then once you've done this side we just then leave this to cure overnight now here you can see I'm just adding more where I feel it needs more adding so just making sure that that's well and truly coated that there's plenty of stones there because if you're not generous with this part then you, you stand the risk of the piece snapping because it's it's too thin so you need to make sure that it's it's got plenty of um, stones here. Now you can use other things like crushed glass and I may well do a crushed glass version um, but you know what I'm like with these acrylic diamonds, I do like them. So this is the next day now and this has been curing um, overnight. And so now we're going to work on um, putting the stones on the other side. So I do need to find a way of balancing this so that... Um, we don't have any uh, runoff with the resin. So I've got some acrylic, I don't really know what they're called, those acrylic sheet things that I had from a different project from uh, when I had my laser engraver and that was what was left over. So they, these are what I use to prop up my resin pieces so that they're not on the table and um, it means that I can have them pretty level as well. So just like the front, we're going to um, apply a generous helping of acrylic diamonds on this side as well. So just following the same idea of the front, just following the shape and then making sure there's plenty um, of stones to make sure that the everything's well and truly stuck and it's got some depth to it as well and it's not too thin because you don't want it to look a bit flimsy and um, you want it to be quite substantial and look like you know there's something about this sculpture and it's not just you know a thin sheet of uh, resin if that makes sense so here I want to show you my bright idea that I had for balancing this to do the base so as you can see I'd stuck it through the hole in the stool and then propped up the trays with whatever I could find to get it to the right level. Um, I also made sure that the um, stand was perpendicular, square, and <laughs> wasn't leaning. And then I done the same thing I did with the top. I mixed the acrylic diamonds in some resin with a tint of teal India ink and then just started pouring that on the top like so. I must say I was quite pleased with how things were going at this point. That was of course until I realised my um, big mistake but what I did do was um, I let it cure um, for quite some time so it, the resin was still sticky when I realised my mistake and I was able to pull the, the stem out 
without disturbing the base because it had cured enough and thankfully it left a nice hole for me to be able to leave it to cure overnight and then the next day I was able to then just slot that back into the hole and then um, just resin that back in. So as you can see some of the most simplest of ideas can sometimes be very effective. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did um, enjoy this video and like to see more uh, resin ideas then please subscribe to my channel or better still go and browse my other videos. I have plenty of simple ideas to keep you inspired. So until next time, bye for now.